the time. Missing black mana, but we have a two and white mana source and a removal spell. We're going to keep this, especially with the opponent going first. Well, for once, we're not even that upset to see a hawk on one, which is, of course, every deck we play against because we have a harpooner. Should be fucking nice. I'm guessing um, this could be Selesnya or Boros off that drop. Um, so we'll see. We kept a three lander. All right. Island? I will be honest, the island was unexpected. So Lesnia splashing blue. Um I have him on a Whisper Agent. I think I'm going to assure it if he does. Nope, it's nothing. Um, I'm okay with the Beetle as a 2-2. Seems like a weird play, but I don't have black mana right now. And I don't really want to overinvest in a single creature, so we'll run that. Sure. It does look very much like Azorius over there. So I'm gonna go get in for five, I guess. Still no, uh, I mean, as far as he's concerned at the moment, I guess we're playing Selesnya, so. perspective we're having all the answers which is pretty ridiculous yeah it's a clear creature not to block oh i was gonna take out bats and add a copy wasn't i okay we should do that permanently in the deck so we Played out on curve, guild gate into a two drop, into another guild gate, into another two drop, into a uh, insect, insect synergy there. Okay, we lost some, lost some tokens. Did just get our black mana source. I think I'm okay holding these now. The black mana source, we can wait a turn, it's fine. What do you mean mouse over card? Well. I mean, I guess I could try to explain each of those words individually and you could tell me what they mean to you. But I just what was going with common usage. Hey. Seriously tempted to put a plus one plus one counter on the uh, the shade. All right. Light up the legion. Black source. Harpooner's at three right now. I guess I take five this turn, run out the assassin, and then keep up mana for Sundu next turn till I draw a second swamp. Attack with both and help you blocks like a clown. It's only... Oh, I guess if he kills that. Yeah, I guess I could do that. That's slightly better than I was considering. I mean, if he just takes it. All right, 
Sure. I mean, we give him a lot of pluses out of this, unfortunately. And I still want to develop Assassin, I think, so that's fine. That's actually not a bad play. Sneaky play. Yeah, the best part about that play is even if he plays right, he just still takes a little bit of damage, right? Oh, Alright, so we know why he's in white. We don't know why he's in blue yet. We've seen two fucking bomb, uh, bomb rares from white. I think I can just develop this. I mean, I, this kills that straight up, right? But I could save this too. So many fucking options here. Oh, apparently he saw that too and he doesn't like it. Okay. Opponent playing Azorius. Not a color I normally uh, record <laughs> in, in Ravnica. Alright, uh, fucking Pilfering Imps out. Let's keep the 3 2. We did see, we did see a bunch of 4 4s that are pretty obnoxious. Um, is this a deck where I want, a game where I want Flight in? Not sure. Okay. Anyway, he's straight Azorius? I don't know, man. I mean, I guess he, he played all of his cards in his hand. And played a low... A low... A two, that, that blue drop was a 2-1 blue drop. You think you're splashing that for blue? Oh, we have no lands. That's exciting. Uh, we'll keep this on the draw. Want it mold down to four. Three. Oh, he's memeing us. Okay. Sure. Alright, um, so he mulled down five, right? And then conceded. Okay. Now it turns out the keep at two, uh, two layouts was correct. I accept. Win trading. <laughs> That's right, Zakara. I know the guy. He and I are buddies. Sometimes he drops Azorius, cues into me, and gives me wins. You have returned. Hey, Sir Skidmore. So, um. What kind of beer will you be having this evening, Filthy? One of my uh, long term viewers uh, sent me a number of local brews from his area. Uh, they're actually. Growlers, kind of. So there's a limited life on them, and they spent three days in the mail. So I need to drink them soon. And it turns out Sunday night is a night I don't mind drinking. So uh, we will be checking out some of these uh, local Minnesota brews uh, tonight at some point. Uh, probably in an hour or two, maybe two or three hours. Go slow. Oh, remember to fix my deck again. Shit, thanks. I missed it. What area of Minnesota? I don't actually know. Just Minnesota is all I know. I can give you the name. I'll give you the names of the breweries when I check it out, or the brewery. I'm not sure if it was multiples. Ah, I mean, this is playable, I guess. It's not a particularly exciting hand, but we have three lands. Opponent mulling one seems good. We're going first. We're still playing Golgari. This is game five, and this is Chat's fault as a deck. So, All right. Drunk Filthy is great. Drunk Filthy is um. He is great. Now that you mention it, thanks for saying so. All right, Demir, or do we? Is it Rakdos this time? Are we gonna see a red mana come and then like the play like low red drops and low black drops? Getting dead weighted. It's unfortunate. I wonder if he'll regret that when I run out the shade next turn. Probably not. God, I wonder if I'll regret playing that imp. This could be an Okapi. Which feels better than the imp every single time, but maybe. Golgari Mirror. Oh, I mean, we're flooding, so presumably. Could be a uh, Whisper Agent. Let's play around the Whisper Agent. All 
All right, we're out of cards. He's at 17. We have two 1-1s one and a 3-3 three three on board. I lied. We have one 3-3 three three on the board. So we get... I mean, it's not really two for one. We already got the counter assigned, but... uh, Main deck vapors, sure. Another swamp. Not exactly what I was hoping for. All right, our win condition is on the board. You want to receive growlers in the mail? Uh, yeah, there's some trade-offs. But I, I was also excited opening that package. I'm hoping the beer is good. Hoping the beer survived transit. So I have seven, six lands. I can only pump once if I want to play out the assassin, and I do. I don't want to use prey upon here. Maybe I do want to prey upon. Oh well. Yeah, prey and smash for five was definitely an option. I'm playing for a slightly longer game than that. Like, I assume that he will play something that counters the shade on five mana. But removing that creature would have actually put me in pretty good shape there. So we did get punished for my play. Like, this is certainly not a position we want to be in. So maybe it was more defensible to do that. You know what would be exciting here would be the ability to draw something that was not a land card. Run six playables and eight lands. Do I wish to build his graveyard? I do not. Should have played the green mana. Yeah. See, this is the type of card I was expecting to come out from him last turn. And, I mean, he had a very clunky workaround because he missed his mana drop. But this is why I didn't want to all in invest in the shade, was presumably he would removal. Maybe I would have just got enough damage that I'd now be killing him with the assassin and it wouldn't have mattered and I missed the tempo play here. I'm certainly, not certainly, but I'm very unlikely to win here. Um, especially if I just draw lands. So... It would be fitting for this deck to die in the Golgari Mirror. And it just healed. Ah, the Beetle. A strong addition to the forces of Filthy. Do I even play the fucking Beetle? I'm not playing the Beetle. We just play Lance. We're up to 8 on curve. Going for 9. We showed him a beetle? We've showed him a beetle. Beetles don't understand sarcasm? That's why I have you guys, chat. If I was just sarcastically yelling at my beetles alone in a room with no lights, or excuse me, with no windows, that would be bad. But the fact that I am able to instead yell at a, <laughs> yell at a beetle in a room with no windows and have 900 of you here to enjoy that with me, that's what makes streaming so glorious. That's what we're here for. <laughs> I don't know what he's waiting on. Presumably he thinks I've got a trick, and I do have a trick. The trick is swap. The trick is I always have swap this game. There's nothing he can do to stop it. That would be a good clip. I don't want to. I don't want to tell you guys what you have to do, but that would be a decent clip. All right, 25-minute turn to play out one more thing. Uh, I can't survive this. I can get two blockers. Uh, that's not true. I can get down to one. And if I prey upon, I guess I'll play it out like I'm gonna do something here. Ready? Here goes. Here goes the turn. Oh, copy. Deploy. Beetle. 
Deploy. Prey upon. Eat that thing. All right. We're in good shape, chat. We're at three. We'll keep Swamp. Represent a threat. Thank you, grunt work. All right, he's only got four cards in hand. And you know why he has four cards over us? Because he's got five lands and we have nine lands. And the difference between five and nine just so happens to be four. Just so happens. I don't know what our top deck streak looks like. It needs to start with either Dowser or Siege Worm. Because we need something that eats the wild Ceratok without dying. I guess Deadly Visit would be okay too. We'll see. He seems jolly. Is he drinking? No, I'm a naturally jolly person. I don't know what you're talking about. Alcohol is a depressant, friend. Depressing my normally cheery personality. Maybe I'm just enjoying playing Golgari. Oh, I see. He spent 25 minutes deciding whether or not he should win the game. Uh, do I want to cast a spell that wins the game, or do I want to do something else? Well played. Well played. Okay. Tough to argue with that. Uh, we definitely don't want to be running Imp in this deck. Uh, the Okap... The copies seem fine um i want to say the bats seem fine yeah let's not push our luck let's run with this oh still the effort matters near bliss thank you oh you think he's roping on purpose i don't He's considering his alternatives. He have, we gotta remember, he's got four cards. And what's the combination of that? Like, there's like four factorial or something. There's four times three times two times one. So, uh, what's that? 24 combinations of plays he could be ca calculating in his head, plus whatever variations of what you want to do on attacking. This hand looks really bad. I need to draw black lands, and I need to draw them like immediately. I don't think I can play this hand. I want to because I don't want to go down in value in a deck that doesn't generate value at all. But can I play this chat? Dude, it's so bad. It's just a beetle. Ah! <laughs> oh, nice. We got some options. Go down to five. Well, yes. Mulliganing. A fool's trick. A fo it's, it's, it's baits you, the mulligan. You're like, man, my hand is terrible, but I have a land in it. Should I keep it or not? You're like, well, all my cards are six or five mana cards in colors that I can't play. Should I keep that or get rid of that? And of course your brain tells you you should get rid of that because you're going to die because you can't do anything. And then you mulligan. And then you realize what a what a foolish mistake you've made. What a scrub you are. The mistakes were made. All right, I'll just record this as a loss. And we'll see it will if we if we do something different, we will uh we'll figure it out. Also, I think there's an emote that describes this perfectly. I need that to be a little bit better resolution. I got to poke that do it again. Okay, uh, we missed another land drop, so we'll pass. Uh, I think we're still in it. Still in it to win it with the addition of a land. Oh, he's fine broker and back his burglar rat. Burglar rat is not a card we really care that much about right now. Okay, we're gonna build our graveyard. What should we build it with? What card seems the least likely to come out right now? The Deadly Visit? The Worm? We can Convoke the Worm. I'm sure we won't be trading bodies on the board. Okay. Well, the Golgari deck lived like it died. Putting creatures in the graveyard. Died like it lived. 
eight. We go to five, so one blocker. Actually keeps me at one. If he plays no other creatures on the board, we go to one with Child of Night, chumping the three, uh, I guess trading for the Shaman. Vigorspore was the pick? No, Vigorspore has uh, synergies with the graveyard chat. We are gonna think about how many more turns of discard we get, and then we'll slam Vigorspore Worm down on the board for like a 90-90. This card is also one mana cheaper than Siege Worm. See how that works? Can you imagine a scenario where we don't just trade off non-stop with this hand? This is a 3-2, this is a 3-2, this is a 2-1, this is a 1-1, this is a 2-2. None of these creatures have positive toughness. None of these are gonna survive any attacks from any of his creatures. So there's no way that there's no way that Vigor Spore Worm is any better or worse than uh, the worm. Thank you, Negrunt Work and Diablos. Cheers. All right. Um, he is taking his time to decide whether or not he wishes to resolve damage. Presumably, he will instant speed remove three of his own creatures, and he's just deciding whether that's the play he wants to make at this moment or not. Understandably, I could be baiting him into overextending on the board. And if he has some sort of mass unsummon effect from a green black deck, he may wish to do that. I could concede here, but I do sometimes think about this on a one to one basis. If there is some guy on the other end of that screen, oh, Capgate, yes! <laughs> we hit land, chat, we did it. Um, if there is a guy on the other side of this com of this computer who thinks that he is enraging his opponent by roping right now, I I love the idea that he's probably an average guy. He's got a nine to five. This is his Sunday. This is his free time before tomorrow he goes back to work. That's that's his life. He's like you know Sunday I'm gonna get some magic in, play some fun games, rope some dudes, hopefully cause some rage. And as he does that, there's like a clock ticking in the background and it's like tick, tick, tick. And it's like 12 hours to work, 11 hours and 45 minutes to work as he runs the rope out. And here I am at work having a grand old time, allowing him to rope me out on this. And our time is different. My time is like the end of Sunday goes to my weekend comes up in a couple days here. <laughs> just to me, it just, it just always amuses me when people try to waste streamers time. Like, okay. All right, deck went three. I'm not even upset about that. Deck outperformed Golgari expectations. 